We're two weeks away before most NFL training camps kick off. SNY has had a series of articles called Make or Break, focusing on the Giants and Jets players that need to ball out this season. SNY Scott Thompson knows who need to ball out. I mean, you did write the articles, right? All right, let's talk about wide receiver Darius Slayton. You've got him on the list. Why? Well, final year of his rookie deal. So Darius Slayton knows he needs to ball out going into training camp, but there's only a few spots. Obviously, Brandon, you know how hard it is in training yep. camp to fight for those positions. Yep. And you have David Sills. you got Richie James, Robert Foster, a bunch of other guys. Even C.J. Board, who is a special teams yep. guy, yep. that's going to get you on the roster as well. So Darius Slayton knows what's up for that task when training camp really comes around. Yeah, I mean, in, we've talked about it. He has a repertoire with Daniel Jones. He's made some big plays in this offense, but unfortunately he's dropped the ball as well. I think Joe Shane is looking at him like you want him to have success, but no matter what, you're not going to be the receiver number one of the future. So if he has a big-time success, maybe you use him as trade bait because next year they're going to have a lot of holes on that defense to, to have to fill. So maybe you use him to bring in some more defensive personnel, but we'll see. Uh, let's talk about safety slash Swiss Army knife. Julian Love, he's on the list. Go. Well, a guy that Darius Slayton knows well. He was picked in the round before him in that 2019 draft. Fourth round pick, Julian Love. He's going to have a good chance going into training camp to be a starter as that strong safety. You have Jabril Peppers gone. You got Logan Ryan gone. That's a huge loss. Those are two veteran guys, leadership guys. And Julian Love knows that he's going to have to ball out. He's got Dane Belton, mm -hmm. another fourth-round pick, a rookie, looking for some playing time. He's hungry, so Love really has to step up. Yeah, when you read that, I didn't look at Dane Belton as being competition. I look at it as him being there to compliment Julian Love, Xavier McKinney. Kind of use, if you think about it, Julian Love was a Swiss Army knife, played a lot of defensive positions for Patrick Graham in that defense. Wink Martindale. We don't know how they're going to get pressure just yet. He may create pressure with his own blitz packaging. You're not asking Jay Love to cover anyone one-on-one. -on -one. Just use your eyes and your mental to jump a zone, to jump a zone, jump a route, uh, and, and and be that guy on defense. Which we've seen him do. Which we've well. seen him do as well. He's made some big plays in the, uh, on that defense. Who makes it? Who breaks it? I'm going to go with Julian Love here okay. because he's going to have more opportunities. Like you said, they'd obviously love – Darius Slayton to show off that speed. He had six drops last year. They mm. obviously want that to change as well. But maybe, yeah, he is trade bait. But Julian Love's going to have an opportunity to stand next to Xavier McKinney. We saw a lot of three safety sets with the Giants yeah. recently. And you know Wink Martindale is going to get hyper aggressive. He's going to need guys to be ball hawks. Julian Love definitely will have the opportunity to do so. Yeah, and, and he, he has a great season here. He, it may not break the bank if they re-sign him, but he's going to be a core piece for the Giants' defense and the Giants' organization for the future. You guys can head on over to SNY.TV to read all the articles. Scott really goes into detail, breaks it all down. Thanks for joining us again, my man.